and welcome back for the last preparation tutorial we are going to be creating a class called noise generator this is a very simple singleton class so noise generator right click in the scripts common folder and just put noise generator in there double click on it to open it up it does not need to be a mono behavior we are going to create a singleton in this case. Singletons kind of go against pulling, pulling, and we will be using pulling when we get to multiple chunks. But for the noise generator, everybody can use the same noise generator. That won't. Hurt. So we'll just have a singleton here. And here we combine all of our parameters that we're going that we've passed in that we've created. We're getting the height back from this function, so we don't need to pass this in, pass the height in. We just pass in our x and our z. And then we also pass in the X and Z for our world, for our chunk. So every chunk will have its own X and Z, and then every nugget will have its own X and Z. We can call this function off thread, on a child thread, when we get to multi threading. We won't do that in the first chunk. There's no reason to do that in the first chunk. But we have a task queue directly from Microsoft. An example is directly from Microsoft that I've. Uh, update it, uh, edit it for our purposes. I'm going to give that to you. It also has a link to the Microsoft website where I got where I, where it started from. So right now we really don't need it though. So our chunk sex plus our nugget sex Divided by the world size times our smooth times our seed. Our Z organs org or our chunk Z plus our nugget Z divided by our world size times our smooth. And like I said, you can knock this down to you know just two parameters. You can pre multiply them, whatever. I like to have them written out so I can mess with them. That's really it for the noise generator. Very short, short tutorial. Um, if you're not taking the rest of the tutorial and you just happened on this uh, noise generator by accident, hello, try checking out the rest of the tutorial. I'm doing voxel and hexagonal. And if you got anything out of this, subscribe. I will see you in the next tutorial, and we will start creating our chunks. Bye.